All right, I'm going to also go over some basic wig care instructions because that's another one of those questions that everybody always asks me. And I think um, I'm going to answer them and then I'm going to send them to the website or to my YouTube channel. And this one is going to be called Wig Care. Um, so some general instructions about washing your wigs. Don't wash them every day. I have people that are washing them way too often. And if you're not using the right shampoo, you're going to strip the wig. So try not to wash them too often. They usually get a smell. And remember that all of the dirtiness and smelliness of the wig is coming from the cap. Because the cap is what's actually touching your scalp, which is your hair oils coming out of the wig or out into the wig. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that you clean your your uh, your cap, the wig cap. Um, so that's where all your smell is coming from. So you'll smell that. Um, don't wash it that often. Maybe every two weeks. Some people wash it every time they wear, wash their hair. I mean, I understand the logic behind that, but it still might be a little bit too much washing. Um, to remember, with human hair, you're going to always want to condition. Condition, condition. Try to find a leave-in conditioner. That's always better. For a synthetic wig, there is wig conditioner. I mean, I have some in the store. I have a whole line of wig shampoo, wig luster, wig spray, and they do different things. Um, and then there's also a wig conditioner. That's the one that's going to soften it pretty much. Um, a lot of people still do use um, your dishwashing liquids are fine. They're very light. If you start using regular shampoo, sometimes they tend to strip the wigs. So a lot of people, um, I, well, I shouldn't say a lot of people. I should say I suggest that you don't use regular wig shampoos on some of these wigs, especially on your synthetic wigs, because it does start to strip the fiber. Don't forget this is a synthetic fiber. Um, there are a rules of thumb. Uh, a wig should be washed after 12 to 15 wearings in spring and summer and after 6 to 8 wearings in fall or winter. So you're talking about a week. I don't know if I would do mine that much, and actually I don't. Um, you should probably have more than one. Don't beat up one wig. I have a lot of women that are just beating up one wig. If you want to, just get the same wig, a couple of them, so you can wear them on alternate days. So when one is washing, the other one you're wearing, so that you always have a fresh wig to grab for. A lot of other people like to have wigs in the back waiting for them when they want a new wig. Because everybody's not happy with how it looks after they wash it. Especially some of your curlier wigs where the curl just starts to get fuzzy. Um, and so some people have an issue with putting the wigs back on. Um, so again, you're going to do a, a basin full of water. I usually do in the sink in my um, bathroom. I fill that up with water and I put a cap full of shampoo in the water. Then I kind of just mush it. Don't shake it up. I just kind of like keep pushing it down into the water. And then I rinse that. And then I put a conditioner in the water. I try to get um, some wig conditioner. There is some leave-in conditioners that are made for wigs. And I use that. And then that, and then I just, with my synthetic wig, I just leave it to sit, air dry. And then I'm able to style it and everything in the morning. And that's it with human hair. Remember, synthetic, I mean, human hair, it acts like your own hair, so you got to take care of it as if you're taking care of your own hair. Um, and conditioning is the most important thing. Remember that your, your wigs are an extension of yourself, and your style should be the perfect blend of fashion, attitude, lifestyle, versatility, and convenience, with the added note of wear and care practicality. So when you're wearing your wig, consider your overall image. I tend to um, change my wigs every day now um, because now they have worked into my style of what I want to look like on a day-to-day -day basis. So I change my hair accordingly. I know everybody doesn't feel comfortable doing that. Um, a lot of people still have issues of people knowing that you're wearing a wig. I'm just still trying to figure out what they're going to do to you when they know that. Um, but some people still have issues. They want to feel that their hair is natural. And they want people to believe that that is actually their hair. And, you know, so be it. 
um, with me. I really don't care. Probably now more because I own a store and people know that I have wigs, access of two wigs, that my um, need to be uh, not so secretive, it, it just doesn't become me because I do own a store. All right. Um, here is your most important at fashion asset, and many of the companies lately are know that, and they have been tailoring their wigs to accommodate um, the new fashion sense that we have in terms of um, the natural styles, natural fibers, 